Welcome back to another Team Solomon Circus Live Duel. Today we have Ishizu tier on the left side as well as Sprite, um, Tribrid Sprite on the right side. We see some shuffling up there, you know, just casual talking, making sure they're both sided out. Uh, both, both very good players here. Um, you know, this is new format post Mama. We see Hyrule, and it looks like we're going to see who's, uh, the Sprite player going to choose to go first before we get into the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and well, let's dive in. We see a starter being activated in the draw phase here. Just gonna go over, I guess. Gonna grab something. And it's good to resolve. Oh, getting our life points out. Getting with that blue to, you know, take the 1,100. And blue's gonna be able to search here. We do see a Herald of Orange Light in the hand there. Maybe saving it for the Gigantic or an Elf there. Let's see, like, the stuff about these sprite cards they're so uh so easy to interrupt if you go for like the their best monsters um, sometimes i have more to play around i see a normal summon of a nimble beaver the nice super print from that ots 20 because someone with the second beaver there And here we, it looks like they have another, they have a Nib in hand, a Jet, a Smashers, and a, another card. We're going to see an overlay of the two Beavers here for a Gigantic. Gigantic effects come to activate, and it looks like it's going to resolve. Locking them both into level 2. He's going for the kit here. Going to be linking both of those away for the Elf. Then kit effects going to be able to activate. Dumping the Nerval, most likely. We're going to see Nerval going to add the Karis there. Nice little level 2 extender. We're going to see Elf bring back the kit. They want to activate the effect, banishing 2 to summon out. And then getting the Ferajit there. Then Ferajit going to be able to special summon that, um, that Karist. Licking both of those away for the Tri-Brigade. Um, the guy, you know, letting... Then going to be able to have off that Ferajit. Let me see a... I believe that was a red... Putting back the Nibiru, you know, most likely not going to have to see it, so. Especially with the Rue Kalos now, you know, being a card, insane card. Especially on another jet here, and then just going to ask for the effects. Should it for the second starter. Going to overlay for a Mannequin Cat. They're going to special note the red. Karis effect is going to activate here. But there's no zones. Oh yeah, zero zone for Bear Brum there. My bad. I'm going to see a link off into the Pit Knight. Very, very good card. And then we're going to see... Uh, search for that Revolt there. We see a... It looks like he might be putting back the revolt as well. Putting these smashers back. Setting two cards and passing. It's interesting that you know they didn't they didn't use their herald at all during his opponent's turn. Start off with a planet here. And they could actually the effect of the uh, double dragon lords to bounce it. And here we're gonna see double dragon lords bouncing the uh, mannequin cat to bounce or to send the mannequin cat to bounce the uh, bounce the field spell back to hand. Crafted Super Poly using a uh, red as well as the elf. Just picking that board straight apart, going for that Garula. And all of a sudden, that Pit Knight's doing nothing. 
receiver Volt being activated here, being able to summon out the uh, properly summoned Bear Brum and the Kit, or I guess the Nerval and the Kit, then linking away for a uh, for a Sure Egg. Sure Effect's going to be able to activate. Um, and then, you know, we're going to have some chain links, so protecting it from that Herald. And then we're going to see that Karula being banished. Sorry about that glare there. You know, very, very bad that Karulas get banished. That card's extremely good, and you only play one of it, so. Going to activate Instant Fusion, paying the 1,000. What a broken card to get out that Kakalos, another crazy card. And then, you know, we're going to see Kit search for the Merly. Can I fit the effect of Kit summoning out the Merly? It can actually be in the same zone, but it doesn't really truly matter. We're going to see a milling eight. We see some uh, two Medoras. We see two Agitos, a Herald, and a Keldeo, as well as Rhino Heart and Merly. So we're going to see some chain links. I mean, I don't see why you wouldn't want to mill 10 cards of your opponent there. I guess you can only mill 5. You didn't build Kelback. So we're going to see a mill 5. We see a Kelback, Medora, Shaviner, Sharn, as well as a Scream there. So, you know, we can build out some chain links. Activate and Kelback, Scream, as well as Sharn. So we're going to see Kelbeck, Shiren, and then Scream. We see Drew's worm be activated here. Banishing that Shiren. They're going to see Scream being able to search for a trap card. We're going to see that Sulik. And then we're going to see both players mill five. And here we see a Solik, a Foolish Burial, another Rhino. I believe it's a second Shiren, and then a Terraforming. Not a lot of cards left in that Sprite player's deck. Um, I can't really see that to play. You know, they just milled 10 cards. That's like, you know, I don't want to say half their deck, but pretty much like, you know, when you have 35 cards in your deck, and you go through it, you know, they pretty much are down to at least less than 10 cards. We're going to see a uh, Reinhardt being summoned back and hitting the Halfness, you know, being able to search. Oh, I thought that it sent, not searched. Oh, that's from the Solik, my bad. Then I see Halfness shuffling back. A Merly. A Kaleido Heart and the Halfness to go for the Kaleido Heart here. I'm just going to look at the graveyard there. Very big graveyard. We see Kaleido Heart. You know, crazy to mention that, like, that those Ishizu stuff helped the tier deck so much as well, even without the fusion stuff. You just place down the field spell, you know, being able to pop a card with the Ishizu stuff is actually just kind of cracked. It's an interruption as well as, you know, just follow up. Don't really know what Konami was thinking there, but. You see Shine Effects being activated here, sending the Merly. We're in a mill three. Linking away, making sure they remember that banish. Very, very nice. Going for a dark here, actually the dark effect, being able to take a... There's got to be a dark in there. A gigantic. Then going to link away into the elf. Very, very powerful card. 
That's actually my elf. He's borrowing mine. Let's go, elf. Let's go. Fun interaction with elf is elf can actually reborn the uh, the diviner that you know he has in grave. Unfortunately, you can't use elf as link material. Oh, they are gonna correct that. The turn it was link summoned. Good catch. No players make mistakes. This was a, uh, this was near the end of the tournament. We did start at like ten o'clock, and it's like, like three o'clock at this point. So you know that's like five hours of Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, I believe this was around like six. It was the semifinals. Yeah, that's correct. This was the top four. You're gonna see Dark destroy the uh, Double Dragon Lords here. Cloud of Heart attacking into the Pit Knight. Looks like they're going to leave the uh, Druid Worm on the field here. Can I fit the effect of Mudora to uh, shuffle back his Sharon? A halfness as well as a as a scream it looks like here's gonna read pit night because I do believe it comes back during the end phase another very powerful card and then I guess here, uh, I think during the end phase, looking at the graveyard, you know, making sure if they start or they have some targets left. You can activate these starters, so obviously he has some targets left. We don't see that much of a deck. Blue effect's going to activate here, activating the effect, you know, getting the jet, very, very tiny deck. See so a draw for turn. Looks like they have they have imp, you know they have red druid worm pit knight imperm. They need an access to a uh, to their sprite engine. Really, I do know they're only on one nerval. I think they're on two kit, one nerval, one fractal, which is kind of weird. But you know they are just playing really the sprite with a tiny um, package. You know, so like being able to okay, we're gonna see elf effect can activate here. Summon a Merly, two Merlys on field. Activating the Merly effect, we're gonna see Planet, Kelbeck, and Shiren being activated here. Here Collider Heart's gonna be able to activate as well. Shuffling back the Druid Swarm. Then Shiren's gonna activate. Putting back the monsters. Is he going to activate the Kelbeck? We're going to see Rukulos being activated. And no Kelbeck. You know, maybe realizing his deck is too small as well. And here we're going to see that the tier element, uh, the sprite players can actually just concede. You know, they don't have enough, enough, don't have enough gas to, uh, to beat a Rukulos. They know they have field spell in hand, so they're going to be able to search. And then, you know, just the amount of gas that tier has. Now, that's why most players think it's going to be a tier zero format. We saw here that, you know, saving that Herald um, can be actually quite useful. I thought they were going to hit the Gigantic Sprite personally, but whatever they did, it seemed to work out for them. You know, to mill like 10 cards, like if you're playing in the mirror match, if your opponent doesn't know you're in the mirror match and they hit a... Uh, they hit you with Kelbeck, and then you just mill and you hit one of like your tier monsters. 
shuffling back the tiers to um to be able to like get your stuff on the field if you can get like a rucolos or like even like a we saw a winda um you know people were teching in winda and stuff like that kind of crazy lots of stuff that i think that you know we're in a very very interesting format we saw like there's not a lot i know that sean's playing actually um i have his list so he, i know that he's playing stuff like regeki in the side he's playing dark uh, not dark rollers playing droplets in the side um just stuff like that you know he said the dark uh droplets were really overperformed yesterday um and there was like a lot of cards he thought that didn't perform as well so you know you might be seeing some changes that the reason we do have a regionals this weekend so he'll be definitely at that um kind of crazy how the keldio and the uh medora are the best the best monsters rather than like, the ones that mill you actually want the recursion and when it first came out we saw that it was you know kind of the opposite let's we'll see back into the gameplay no something beaver getting out the beaver activating the uh the proud of prosperity here getting rid of most likely three And here we see a kit, an ash, and end of Anubis. Um, definitely not choosing that one. That one is a mannequin gat target. Unless you're playing the gigant, uh, the double cross, which you can summon from your graveyard. We're going to see an overlay for gigantic here. Ash from the effect of beaver. You know, getting out that blue. Blue effects can be able to add a uh, jet, carrot, or red here. We're going to see a jet. You know, he did add the kit, so we're going to try to see how he gets that kit onto the field here. Can I put the Karis sending the kit? That's another option. You know, here, Kit's going to be able to send the Nerval, and then Nerval's going to be able to add the kit. Um, so, you know, we do get beasts in the graveyard as well as stuff for that ferret sheet. Unfortunately, can't activate the graveyard effect, but you know, it seems like they already have all the pieces. Here, they're going to link away into the elf. Elf effect's going to activate, targeting the uh, targeting the Karis. Karis effect's going to banish two. Summoning out the Farajit. Farajit effect's going to special summon out the kit. They're going to be able to link both of the kit, or the, I guess the Farajit, as well as the Karis for the Bear Brum. But something like that jet. Jet's gonna be able to search for the starter. We're gonna see an overlay here for mannequin cat. Putting it in attack position is very, very risky here. We're gonna see the kit summoning out um, double dragon lords here. Then we're going to send both those to the graveyard for most likely a pit knight. Yeah, unfortunately being in kind of in the wrong zones here. But, uh, where she started being activated, getting out the pixies here, you know, most likely going to use the, um, the pit knight as, you know, pixies fuel. And we see the revolt, and then we're going to put one on the bottom of the deck here. Um, also not forgetting to take the 1,000 they summoned off Pixies. They have opted between Ash, Druid Worm, and the Revolt here. Looks like they're going to put the Druid Worm back to the bottom of the deck. You know, valuing that Ash over the, uh, over the Druid Worm. They're going to have to be super probably in the draw phase, not even setting that revolt there. Choosing the uh, the pit knight as well as the, the elf here is very interesting, you know, because Pixies is also going to be able to activate. We're going to see, uh, you know, one of the Ashizu stuff mills. We see two Ash Blossoms here hit. We see a Sharon, a Rhino Heart, and a Agito, as well as a Keldeo. Sure, they're gonna be able to activate the effect, perhaps. I can't see which one's in the graveyard. Maybe it's Nagito. So, 
So we're declaring some chain links. Chain link one, Shiren. Chain link two, Rhino Heart. Chain link three going to be Muddy, Mud Dragon of the Swamp. It looks like uh, we're definitely getting into some swampy territory here. We're actually the effect of the uh, Druid Swarm here. So they chose to, to put the Ash back. Then Rhino Heart's going to be able to resolve. And then mill the, uh, the Halfness. Half in this chain link one and then Rhino Heart chain link two. They did actually the Shiren already. So, you know, they have actually four. They're looking at Muddy Mud Dragon because it's very important that, you know, Muddy. And they're going to chain the effective cat. Uh, I guess it is a water, so they can summon something that's an aqua or a water, but they can't target the Muddy with a dark. Just going over the uh, the ruling here with the Money Mud Dragon and as well as the cat. They put back the revolt, actually. Holy crap, they kept Ash and Jerseworm over the revolt. Here we're going to see the Rhino Heart sending the Merly. The Halfness and the uh, Rhino Heart's going to be able to make a... Make a Gakalos here. He's going to act with the effect of Merly. Chainlink 1 is going to be the kit. And then... Uh, this is going to get responded to with Ash Blossom there. No Merly effect. You know, choosing when you activate your graveyard effects is very, very vital here. You're going to act with the effective kit. Um, or Merle actually is going to resolve here. Going for the second kit. I haven't seen this play at all. Enter the battle phase here. Mighty is going to attack into the double dragon lords. And then we're going to see both the Kakaloses attacking the other guy, just leaving the Druid Swarm on the field. We're going to be setting one, and it looks like just passing there. You know, leaving them on Druid Swarm in one card. Very, very, you know, bad spot for the Sprite player. But can they recover here with one card in hand? We also know the tier player does have a Silic in hand, so, or a Silic set on the field, so they can potentially negate anything that they do summon. I guess, you know, you have to depend how viable that normal summon is. It looks like it's just a blue and just going to scoop it up there. Blue does not, uh, not help them in any case, shape, or form. So here we saw that, you know, Ishizu tier did 2-0 Tribrigade Sprite, um, you know, just not being able to open up good, as well as the player's, uh, being great players and we saw that like, some of the mills were pretty pretty great and you know formal handshake you know both players very respectful this was a top four match um we're gonna see that tier is going to be you know pushing on hope you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to like comment subscribe and we'll see you in the next one